Hey guys, welcome back. Based on popular demand, uh, I'm going to do a quick video on the k &M. We had a few, folks, a few folks asking, hey, can you please do a, a build video? Tell us what you get on the k &M. It's really not that much. I mean, mostly I invest, invested in, in uh, lights. Um, I do have some other wheels and tires on it, but that's the 2020 k &M Defender HD10 Lone Star Edition. I went with the Lone Star because it does come with a curved A arm, so you do have a little bit more of uh, clearance in the front for bigger tires. Uh, those are 30 inch STI X comp tires. The uh, reason I went with the 30 inch and with this particular tire is simply that's a 10 ply, I believe. It's a 10 ply tire, meaning that with all the stuff I go through um, uh, here in Central Texas, uh, mesquite, all kinds of uh, thorns and whatnot, um, those have held up really good. Same thing on my truck, I'm, I'm running a Toyo Open Country RTs. Um, I haven't had one flat tire out here yet. Uh, whereas with my old truck, uh, factory tires, it took me maybe two months and I had a flat tire uh, because a mesquite thorn was stuck in it. So knock on wood, or knock on rubber in this case, those tires are holding up pretty good. I have some, some KMC wheels on it. The whole wheel package uh, I cannot say enough good about KJ Motorsports. Uh, I'm not sponsored, I didn't get a better price, anything like this. But I purchased the first set and the offset in those wheels uh, was not good. Or let's say it pushed those wheels too far out. My trailer is somewhat narrow. Uh, I already had to move these fender belts out further. And uh, so there's limited space. With these wheels and tires I had on there, they were too far out. I couldn't fit the KM with it on the trailer. So I had to figure something out. I need to, needed to send these wheels and tires back. And KJ, they just sent me a return label. They didn't even question this whole thing. And uh, I sent this back at no cost. And then I, I bought a new set uh, from them, obviously, because uh, good customer service needs to be rewarded. So needless to say, I'll be buying my wheels and tires from them going forward because that customer service is fantastic. Outside of that, you guys can see the KC highlights uh, LEDs I have on here. Those are the Gravity Series. Uh, those are six inch LEDs. Um, I like those quite a bit. That's a pretty good light, reaches out far. Um, I wish I could you know, fit maybe more of those on here, but I felt like with that factory bumper on the KM uh, Defender, again, the Lone Star model that comes with that bumper on here, they fit in pretty good. Uh, some are protected. The little in front of this bar probably would be better if they the bar would reach uh, further, but uh, it's all good. I haven't had any issues yet. The Lone Star comes with factory winch. I have used that quite a bit already. I just wrapped this uh, tree strap around here in the front, so I have that handy all the time. And then uh, let's move further up. More lights. Those are the 45 degree angle lights. Those are KC highlights. Flex Era 3. Um, I have an orange cap on here just to protect that uh, the glass a little bit better of, of that uh, little LED but uh, those are pretty bright um, perfect for uh, running guns you guys have probably have already seen it in the video but uh, those light up the 45 degree angle uh, positions and if you're a shooter on the passenger side or something that is actually the, the money shot right there uh, you can see out pretty far with those I'm super happy with them uh, if I could I would buy more right now but unfortunately they're not in stock. So I want to add some of these on my uh, power wagon because pretty small form factor, but fantastic light. And the Kelvin and those, those are not too blue. Those, those have a uh, nice uh, LED brightness, but you don't have this blue light kind of effect. So I like that quite a bit. Uh, whereas those, those are also the KC highlights. Um, Flex Dual, I believe it's the name. Uh, I think they are uh, stopping producing them. Uh, so, uh, to be honest, I expected a little more of those. I was hoping they would uh, go a little further, but um, it's somewhat limited and the light is a little bluer. So it has a little bit of a bluish tint to it, 
Uh, I don't like it that much because now you mix uh, different uh, Kelvins, or different light um, temperatures, so to speak. Uh, and uh, I'm not a huge fan. So maybe at some point I'm going to replace those. Uh, I've seen that KC Highlights is coming up with new uh, new Flex uh, series. It's a Flex Era 4, I believe. So it's a quad LED. Um, and uh, those look pretty interesting. I'm going to take a look at those, see if I want to do something with them. Outside of that, let's move over, uh, over here. Uh, something which doesn't get usually a lot of attention uh, those are side mirrors, but those are the seismic uh, pursuit side mirrors and uh, a little dirty down here, but there's two LEDs in it. Now if I turn this on, I'm not sure if you guys can see it in the camera, I'll get, get a little bit of a close-up here in a little bit, but uh, we have some green light on those and then it's a rocker switch, two positions and you have a white light. That green light on those, on those uh, side mirrors is what we use the most when we drive around. We don't want to turn on all the lights. We want to be somewhat in a stealth mode. That's the green light I run. Um, they make a fantastic light. They're in a good position. The angle forward is great. Um, those side mirrors are worth the money. That's, that's probably, if I had to pick <laughs> uh, maybe one part, Let's say two parts. If I had to pick two mod mods I did in this KM I like the most, this would be a number two because they are extremely handy and make a fantastic light. Now I already said, you know, pick two mods, which one is the best. I'm gonna move up a little bit. I'm gonna skip those guys. I'm gonna cover them in, uh, in just a second. But uh, all the way on top, this guy up here can move this up and down. You guys probably have seen this before, and I covered it in the videos before. Um, you might have seen it from Ultimate Night Vision. Uh, they have a package out there you guys can buy off the shelf. Well, this is not it. This is not the Rover or Rover IR. Um, this is actually a DIY unit I built. Um, you can see if, you know, if you've looked around a little bit, it's just a Go Light uh, light housing. I took the light out. Um, you can buy a thermal camera from speedir.com. That's where I got my camera from. Um, this whole package. I think you come in under under 1500, under, under 2000 for sure. I think it's allowed 1500, um, 1200 to 1500, I think. But depending on what you want, uh, they have a few different options in terms of the thermal camera. This one has uh, what they call AI. Um, it's just a recognition basically of certain temperatures, um, so per certain temperature difference. Then you get a little rectangle around it, and there's actually an audio alert. So usually these things are meant for your truck or your luxury SUV, I don't know, um, when you want to be protected at night and you drive around, you want to have extra um, uh, safety, then this thing will warn you if there's a deer coming or there's a person or something uh, in the road and you get, get an alert. Uh, but we don't use it for that, we use it for hogs. So that whole AI thing, the rectangles, uh, probably don't need that. Um, I could have gotten with the uh, one, the lower model, uh, which is not Night, Night Owl Plus, I think it's a regular Night Owl. I'm not sure about the names right now, you guys can look it up, like I said, speedire.com. But this camera has been the best addition to this k and uh, to the point where whenever I forget this thing, because I have to take it down, uh, I made this mistake once and I forgot to take it down and I backed up the k and the garage. Well, the k and barely fits in the garage, you guys can imagine what happened. All of a sudden I have this camera, uh, you know, flopping down here on the, on the hood and like, oh crap. Uh, I forgot to take the thermal camera down. Um, now the lens has a hair uh, uh, crack. Luckily, it does not show up in the thermal image. So even though the lens is cracked a little bit, um, uh, the thermal image is still good. Uh, so I guess I can speak to the robustness of that thing. It's actually holding up pretty good. Ultimately, you know, that camera, that lens is made to be um, on the front of the camera where you probably get some rocks and stuff like that. So it needs to hold up, you know, to, to those uh, rock chips and whatnot anyway. So here's the test, pretty robust, uh, has been doing uh, really good for us. I added a little 10 inch or 11 inch monitor in the center console of the K&M. Um, and then I have this little uh, remote for the go light where we can go left, right, up, down, um, and then it has a speed adjustment so I can move a little slower. But yeah, number one addition to the k and uh, that camera is fantastic. Let's uh, cover those lights I just skipped. Uh, those are 
Those are Vivid Light Bars lights. So that's a manufacturer from China, Shenzhen or something. Um, those are dual uh, LEDs and that's why I bought them. And you can see there's a white in the, in the uh, green uh, mode. So the inside, those are white LEDs, the outside are green. And you can switch between uh, different modes. Kind of fun, probably also kind of unnecessary, but uh, I do like the ability to go to screen in the front. I have in the back too. Uh, two of these parts, and then you can basically light up everything around the k and green. So that is pretty handy if you want to be stealthy and stuff like that. Or if you have to drive a short stretch in the road, I would turn the back LEDs on and actually turn them on to, to blinking uh, something uh, like that, just to have, uh, just to make sure that anybody driving up from behind us, you know, they see us. There's a little bit more of an, of a safety uh, feature to that. So uh, have been pretty good those lights so far. Um, easy to install but yeah now you now you add all this together all these different LEDs I had to run quite a few wires if I look under the hood uh, my OCD is uh, flaring up a little bit because I would like to have this all neatly and you know organized and stuff like that but I uh, didn't spend that extra time I've seen other setups from other people and uh, they spend more time in this and uh, I, I like the the extra um, discipline they showed there to, to make this all look nice. I did, did the best I could and it's functional and that was what's, what's most important to me. Um, but yeah, one last thing maybe. If you look at those headlights, um, those are not the factory bulbs anymore, those are uh, LED bulbs of Amazon, um, have made a huge difference. Again, those, those old ones pretty yellow, those are regular uh, uh, light bulbs. Um, and now I have the mix of LEDs from the KCs and whatnot, and then those down there just doesn't look so good. And also it's not as bright. So that made, made a big difference. Um, also very cheap mod. And then last but not least, right below that thermal camera up there is a infrared uh, camera. Usually it's uh, a backup camera you would uh, install in a truck or something like that. Actually came with a little monitor I have in the, in the middle. Um, the reason I got that one is because that one was also capable of recording so I can put an SD card in, actually record on the display. Um, I had great plans for it. Turns out the quality is not that great. Um, so I, I kind of stopped using it uh, for the recording purpose. However, the display is used uh, every night for the thermal camera. The infrared camera up there now functions as a, you know, as a night vision device. So um, if you want to run at night without lights, uh, I can turn this thing on. At least I see something we can navigate a little bit. Um, at some point I had some infrared lights up here instead of these KC lights. They were okay, but they weren't great. They were definitely on the cheaper side. Uh, you can get some out there from uh, Rigid uh, and other brands. I'm sure those might be better, but I'm also, I'm also not paying to spend like 500 bucks or something in one of those LED lights. So took those IRs off, used the camera with the built-in IRs for now, and at least that you know illuminates in front of the KM enough for us to, to to navigate slowly around. Now if you swing around a little bit, um, when I bought this KM, I made sure I get those uh, factory doors. So those are those are KM doors. Um, I do one, I do like the look, and two, from a safety perspective, uh, it's great to have them. I take the kids out quite a bit, and uh, you know, we ride around on those properties, and having those doors on is great because uh, there's less of a chance for you know something to go wrong, kids falling out of the can amp, for example. Also, keeps the dirt off, you can see just down here um, how the mud is coming up, those tires uh, stand out a little bit. I, I did not get these, um, these flares. Uh, the mud flares, I'm actually not a fan of the look, so um, didn't go for that. Um, but the doors actually do a pretty good job. Yes, you sometimes have mud flinging up all the way, but uh, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, that's to be expected, so I'm not, not too concerned uh, about that. Uh, one last thing is I added those bars or the, the grips, basically, because I had a friend who was in a wheelchair and we wanted to go out at some point and do a hunt, that's when I added those. We have not gotten around to that yet. Uh, we'll probably do that eventually. So maybe this year, we, you know, once things are calming down with this pandemic a little bit, and uh, right now I'm also looking into buying a property. Once this is all taken care of, I think um, we hopefully get to that point.
But yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Maybe one last thing you guys can see back here. Um, another one of those KC highlights. That's the Flex single, so it's just a single part. Um, that lights up right next to the K&M on both sides. And um, yeah, light-wise and most of the modification, that's about it. I did add a uh, fire extinguisher in, inside, so in the um, roll bar, the middle bar right here, that was a good spot. And I mounted a fire extinguisher um, because I've seen photos and videos of, of side-by-sides catching fire. So this is a thing. This is not, not necessarily uncommon. Uh, it happens, I think, for all brands. I've seen pictures of K&Ms, I've seen pictures of, of uh, Polaris uh, catching fire. So, um, as, again, safety uh, purpose, have a fire extinguisher in the K&M. Also, you never know when you're out um, in the summertime in Texas. It's not a bad idea to have a fire extinguisher with you. Uh, you know, grass fires or anything catching on fire, you have one available when you need it. So, but yeah, that's about it. There's no lift in this K&M. Uh, like I said, the, the Lone Star comes lifted a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what the factory lift is, but um, those tires fit. Uh, very rarely do I rub, only when uh, there's some uh, uneven terrain and I go all the way in maybe. Um, occasionally I have a little bit of rub uh, in the front, but I'm not too concerned about it, so. But yeah, that's the K&M. Hopefully that covers what you guys were looking for. Um, again, I don't feel like I did a bunch uh, of modifications to this K&M, but um, I got it to the point where it's actually proving to be a fantastic tool for us. I mean. The running guns, right, uh, working out really good, um, impressed by the machine. After the first take up, I haven't had any issues anymore, so uh, it's working out good. Um, it comes also with the uh, the rock sliders on the bottom, and I did have to use them because at some point, uh, those Titan ramps I have, which are supposed to be like 1,500 uh, pounds, I think, per ramp, one of those ramps broke on me as I was backing off the, the trailer. So. I hit the trailer with the rock slider. Luckily, nothing else happened. It didn't flip over or something. So, uh, knock on wood, uh, it could have been much worse. But the ramp broke. I got me two new ramps, same same ones, um, because I do like them, how light they are. Um, but I'm gonna have to look into something else eventually. So, but for now, everything is working out. Outside of the K&M, quick update too. Uh, everybody's seen uh, over the last year, and especially in the election and so forth. Um, what has happened in this country. Uh, it's pretty sad, frightening and concerning altogether. Um, what we're experiencing right now also with the recent developments in terms of the stock market and this whole GameStop short uh, squeeze. So with everything going down, uh, I think one thing I realized is uh, Facebook is not a platform I want to support and or uh, tolerate anymore. So I got off Facebook, um, you guys probably noticed. Um, no page, no account on Facebook anymore. I continue Instagram. I'm looking into MeV. Um, I'm also looking into other platforms like um, uh, like Rumble and uh, a few others. But if you guys want to get in touch with us right now, I recommend Instagram and I recommend MeV. I think uh, quite a few folks went over to MeV. So um, that seems to be a platform right now where freedom of speech is still a thing. Um, so you guys can, can look on there. Worst case, uh, hit up my website, guys. There's a contact form if you guys ever need anything. And my email address I usually post also in the comments. It's Ronnie, R-O-N-N-Y, at texasyak.com. So appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for staying with us. Um, we will have a lot more content in 2021. I know January has been pretty slow. Um, but again, I got busy with, with family. I got busy. Um, with trying to buy a property myself. He also didn't have the best weather, um, so a lot was going on. Right now I'm on some family property here, and uh, actually I tracked a hawk out here. So I had this hawk now out here for nine days, 10 days, something like that. I need to get on autumn tonight. Um, they just use this as a uh, gateway property, so they only cut through briefly. It's not that, that big out here. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can get this pig tonight um, because I think the battery is pretty much dead. I think maybe we get this night out of it, but that's, that's it. Uh, after tonight, I think the battery is just going to be done. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what I was up to. Uh, more content 2021, I promise. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back.